Hey everyone, in this video, I wanted to go out in the real world and show what it's like to go shopping in the Apple Vision Pro headset. Um, I cannot lie, this one was very nerve wracking. Um, it was my first time going out uh, in, in a public place that was actually populated with a lot of people um, and just seeing the reactions of people with me with this headset on. And then I thought I was being inconspicuous by putting you know my hoodie over over my head and then not paying attention at the time that that just made me stick out even more like a sore thumb um but i was actually thoroughly impressed with how many people did not pay attention to me whatsoever so that was cool um all right so this entire video is being recorded from the perspective of the headset um so this is all coming straight from the, the capture of, of what i'm seeing as i'm walking through the store i'll never not love being able to just pull out my notes app um that is really cool um and just being able to bring that up whenever i get ready um but i do have a grocery list um on the menu today is uh, a cob salad uh, with grilled salmon um so i'll be picking up the ingredients for the salad and for the salmon um so as i'm going through it's kind of early in the morning so it's not so many people in the store but it's still quite a bit of people um as you see, I'm trying to avoid, you know, a lot, a lot of people because I, I'm trying to avoid the looks. But at the same time, I still want to see how people react to somebody wearing Apple Vision Pro out in public. All right, so I found my uh, spring mix. Okay, and this was the first guy who stopped me and had questions about the uh, Apple Vision Pro. Um, I didn't realize at the time that this was not recording everything that I was hearing in the store. So I'll, I'll wear a mic next time so that I can actually pick up the conversation. Um, but yeah, I was stopped. That was the first time I got stopped um, by somebody on this uh, journey. All right, uh, so I'm bringing up my grocery list. And again, I, I will never not love being able to do this. Um, I can keep it open and just drag it with me as I go through the store as well. but. I just uh, find it better for the field of view to, to put it away um, until I actually need it to remember what else I'm trying to grab. Okay, so I was looking for my tomatoes. And I was thoroughly impressed with the lighting in the store because the, the camera, I feel like this is the best capture so far that I've come up with. It's capturing all the colors and everything. Um, honestly, it looks as clear as day. And again, this is my you know point of view from the uh from inside the headset. Um, I will say it was kind of difficult reading the signs far off, um, like the the aisle signs and the things that are on the sides. Um, I couldn't really read those as, uh, in the headset um, and I'd be able to see those just fine, you know, if I didn't have the headset on, but the cameras weren't picking up the words on the signs far, far away, uh, not clearly enough. Uh, so that's something to note. Uh, I think I'm looking for ranch now, but not the Olive Garden Ranch. Um, let's see. I'm noticing as I'm going through shopping around the store, it's getting more and more populated. And then there's more and more people and more and more stairs as I'm walking down the aisle uh, with this huge headset on my face. And I know I'm moving my head around a lot um, in the video, but I'm actually impressed with how stable it's still coming around or it's still coming across in the video. So great job to Apple on the headset and the stability for the cameras. All right, found my wrench. Okay, now I want to pull up my handy dandy notes and check off what I've picked up so far. And remember what I need next. I forgot about the lemon. All right. I don't know if you all like this as well, but I love to squeeze a little lemon juice on my salmon. So I'm going to go grab one of those. Again, I'm thoroughly impressed with the colors and that it's picking up the color so well. Um, I'm still finding out new things about this headset every single day. Um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it so far. It's it's it's. Uh, very interesting new technology and just I didn't think that we were you know so close to to this so um, just in awe of this thing every day and I love like
playing with it and coming up with uh, new things and new use cases for it. Want to be careful too because I don't know if it's coming through on the video, but um, the field of view is not a, a you know a, your full regular field of view. Um, it is blocked off, um, but yeah, th you know that's not coming through in the video. But be mindful of that. With that being said, though, I'm very impressed that I did not uh, run into anybody. Okay, so I thought about doing the prepackaged salmon, but then, eh. After I looked at it, I was like, no, let's do something fresh. All right, so this is about to be my first real interaction with somebody wearing the Vision Pro. But again, it, it wasn't uh, recording the sounds that, it, that I was hearing out loud, so I couldn't catch that on tape. And this was the second person that uh, stopped me and had a few questions about the headset. All right, so got my salmon. Check the handy dandy notes. Again, that will never stop being amazing to me. I, I love being able to pull that up in the middle of a space. I got two more things on my list. Uh, don't ask me what G is. I have no idea. I think I just typed it. I will say, like being out and about, it is you got to be a little more precise with trying to um, type um, or. Uh, pinpoint accuracy especially if the target that you're trying to look at is very tiny um, so it did seem like it was having a few issues with that um, but nothing major um, so far I, I mean I really enjoyed like going shopping in the headset just for the sheer point of you know being able to pull up my notes I mean if I wanted to I also could have pulled up like a YouTube video or or been on a FaceTime call and just you know drug somebody around the store with me um, Actually, I think I'm going to try that in the future. That might be cool. Uh, these are some strange looks from the ladies to the left. All right. And again, I'm just always in awe of this headset's pass-through. Like, it, it, it really looks like you're not looking through anything. So, I would never, you know, I don't think I'll ever get used to that. Or maybe it's still a honeymoon phase. I don't know. I'll keep trying it out. Um, so st stay tuned if you want to uh, see what other shenanigans I get into with the headset. I, I, I plan on making a lot of real world uses with it, just using this incredibly expensive and um, fun and new technology out in the real world and uh, <laughs> seeing how people react to it. Um, but this was grocery shopping in Apple Vision Pro. Thank you, Winco.